Do you remember my last video? I showed you how to make a miniature gingerbread house that could double as a Christmas tree ornament. And it seemed just fair to make some Christmas ornaments for our dolls as well, am I right? Make sure you watch until the end of this video to get the free printable template to make all these cute miniature ornaments. Or have a look at my shop for the digital version for cutting with a Cricut or a silhouette cutting machine. But now let's get started. The first ornament we're going to make is also the simplest. Cut this part of the template into cardstock and you can use cardstock from old packagings if you want. Now take a long piece of sewing thread and fix one of its ends to one of the star's sides with a tiny drop of glue. Let it rest for a few seconds, then apply more glue all along the sides of the star. Twirl the thread around the cardstock base and keep going until the star is completely covered in thread. I find that this is easier to do if you use a needle. Fix the end of the thread with glue and let it dry. Then take another piece of sewing thread, fold it in half, then tie it around one of the star's sides and tie it again to create a little hook. This will allow us to hang the ornament on our miniature Christmas tree. At this point I decided to color the lower half of my little star ornament with gold paint. And our first miniature Christmas ornament is ready. The second ornament is similar to the first one but with a twist. Cut this part into cardstock. Take a piece of sewing thread, fold it in half and tie it. Then hook it to the cardstock base and glue it in place. Now take a longer piece of sewing thread and glue one of its ends to the center of the star. When the glue has dried, spread more of it around the middle section of the star. Then start spinning the thread around it. Keep going until the center of the star is completely covered. Then put some glue on the star's sides and start twirling the thread around them. If you want, you can add a little design with acrylic paint. I decorated mine with some simple gold dots. And anyway, you can also use these templates to create even more super quick ornaments. Just cut them into cardstock, add a string and paint them. Now let's move on to the third ornament, this adorable little tree. Cut this part into cardstock and fold it in half. Then take a piece of sewing thread and start rolling it around the cardstock template. You should end up with this. Now slide another piece of thread under here and once again I suggest using a needle. Then tie this thread into a knot. Cut the bottom half of the thread with fine scissors. I used manicure scissors. Then cut another piece of sewing thread, tie it into a loose loop and then slide it over the top of the tassel. Tighten the loop and tie it into a knot. Repeat this step three times making the tassel just a little bit bigger each time. Cut out the excess thread from the bigger tassel and tie it for the smaller one. Now we can attach these tassels to one another. The biggest tassel will go at the bottom and the tiniest at the top. At this point we can decorate our ornament, cut this part into cardstock and color it with gold paint or any other color you like. Then glue this piece to the top of the little tree. Next, I decided to use my DIY 3D paint to add some teeny tiny bubbles to the tree. And you can see how to make this paint in my gingerbread house tutorial, I'll link it in the end just in case. And our little Christmas tree shaped ornament is ready. Now we can use a similar method to create this next ornament. Cut this part into cardstock and fold it in half. Then cut a fairly long piece of sewing thread and just like we did for the previous ornament, create a tassel. And just a reminder, you'll find a link to the free printable template at the end of this video. And if you own a Cricut or a silhouette cutting machine, you can get the digital template in my shop, linked in the description box. Now we're gonna need a small bead, like this one. Slide it over the thread on top of the tassel, like this, and secure it in place with a little bit of glue. Now cut this part into cardstock and color it with gold paint. Then glue it on top of the bead. Next, cut this part into cardstock. Paint it with gold acrylic on both sides and glue it to the back of the tassel. I added a little final touch by painting a gold belt on the angel's dress. And our fourth miniature ornament is ready. Don't store away your sewing threads just yet because we're going to use it to make the next ornament as well. Cut this part into cardstock and fold it in half. Then roll a piece of thread around it. Cut the thread along the bottom edge of the cardstock template. At this point you should have all these short pieces of thread. Cut this part of the template and roll it around a paintbrush or a pencil to give it a rounded shape. Then attach the two ends to create this small paper ring. Now grab all those pieces of thread we cut earlier. Take one of them, fold it in half, 
and tie it around a cardstock ring like this. Repeat this step until the ring is completely covered with thread. Then carefully push all these threads into the ring like this. Now take a q-tip and tear some of the cotton away from its tip. Roll this piece of cotton into a small ball and push it into the paper ring. You should end up with this. Grab another piece of sewing thread and tie it around all these other threads. Cut away the excess to create a tiny pom-pom. Finally, tie the remaining thread into a little hook to hang the ornament. I decided to decorate my little hat ornament with gold 3D paint and gold acrylics. We can now move on to the next ornament. Let's start by making a little bow. Cut a little piece of ribbon and lay it on your work surface. Then put just a little drop of glue on its center. Fold the left side of the ribbon like this and press down to make sure that the two parts are sticking together. Then put another little drop of glue on the center of the bow and fold the right end of the ribbon over the left. When the glue has dried, tie a piece of sewing thread around the center of the little bow. Finally, trim the excess ribbon and secure the edge with a bit of fray check or white glue. Now that our bow is ready, we can start making the little pine cone. I tried two different ways to make it and I couldn't decide which one was better, so I'm just gonna show you both and then you can decide for yourself. For the first version, cut this part into cardstock. I suggest using brown cardstock, but if you don't have any, you can just use any color and paint it over with a brown marker or acrylic paint. Use a dotting tool or an old ballpoint pen and press it over each one of these little spikes to give them a rounded shape. I suggest placing the cardstock piece over an eraser or another elastic surface. You should end up with this. Now repeat the same process for this part. Then start rolling this spiral onto itself like this. At this point you should have these two parts. Attach them together, then put some glue on the base of the pinecone to make sure it won't unravel. Lastly, add some shading to the pinecone scales to make it look more three-dimensional. And this was the first type of pinecone. For the second alternative, cut these parts into cardstock. Then press your dotting tool or ballpoint pen on each little spike to give it a rounded shape. Now, use a needle or a needle tool to pierce a hole in the very center of each part. To assemble this miniature pinecone, we'll need a piece of wire. Slide the biggest cardstock part over the wire like this. Secure it in place by adding a drop of glue around the bottom side of the wire. Then put some glue on the upper end of the wire right above the first cardstock element. Slide the second largest part above the first one. And repeat this for all the elements, going from the biggest part to the smallest. When you get to the last layer, trim the excess wire, then cover it in glue and press the four sides of the cardstock piece against it. You should end up with this. Just like we did for the first pinecone, use a dark brown acrylic paint to add shading to the scales. It's time to assemble our pinecone ornament. Glue the bow to the top of the ornament like this. Then tie a little piece of thread to create a hook for hanging the ornament. And our last miniature Christmas tree ornament is ready. As promised, here's the link to the free printable template. And if you're interested in the SVG and Silhet Studio files, there's a link to my shop in the description box. I suggest you watch this video next if you want to find out how to make a miniature gingerbread house for your dollhouse and my recipe for homemade 3D paints. And this is all for today's video. Until next time, bye!